water is a lot of ice. <laughs> if you can see, I can still drink it, but there is a lot of ice in there. I don't know what my camera's doing. It's weird. I'm pretty excited about my on trail breakfast today. I love Pop Tarts. Alright, so I figured I'd talk about how last night went in my tent. I have a Bluetooth thermometer so I can track the temperature throughout the night while I'm sleeping. And so when I checked it this morning, the lowest it got was 20 degrees. And I have a 20 degree sleeping bag so I was a little nervous because I know the ratings on sleeping bags sometimes are just like this is the temperature that you will stay alive at <laughs> um, so the night was a little rough just like setting up my tent freezing cold uh, cooking dinner freezing I got in my tent when I was ready for bed and noticed that it was very slanted so I kept like sliding off my sleeping pad I was using like my sneakers and my backpack and some pieces of gear to like wedge under the sleeping pad to level it out. So I think that helped. And then I used my rain jacket to kind of like tie my pillow onto my sleeping pad so that wouldn't fall off. So those are nice little hacks. So once I got in my sleeping bag, I stayed pretty warm. <laughs> like once I pulled the sleeping bag over my head, I think I was fine. Throughout the night, the part of me that got freezing were my feet. So in the middle of the night, I took hand warmers and put them on my feet and then they were fine after that. I was able to get a decent amount of sleep. I was definitely awake every couple hours, uh, but I wasn't shivering. I could definitely feel the cold. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, as soon as I woke up this morning, I just packed everything up as quick as I could and put on every layer of clothing and then just got hiking and I warmed up pretty quickly. You can see I already shed like my puffy, my rain gear and all that. So it's a really nice clear day so far and I'm hiking fast. I have a shuttle at two o'clock and I have to hike 16 miles. So we'll see how that goes. And this is a lot of ice on the trail, so you got to be careful where you step. Also, right now, I'm at mile 99 on the Appalachian Trail. So that means pretty soon I'll be climbing up Albert Mountain. And up there is where I will hit the 100 mile marker. So that's exciting. And there's probably going to be an amazing view from up there, too. Such a clear day. So that's where I'm headed. All right, it's official, 100 miles. Today is absolutely beautiful, nice. Feels warm, but it's probably not. <laughs> it's very sunny. I feel like I keep saying that, but you would have never known how cold and icy it was last night. It turned out to be such a nice day. I have about a mile and a half until Winding Stair Gap, which is mile 110 on the AT, and there I'll get picked up, and I'll go into Franklin. Um, there's a lot there, McDonald's, restaurants, outfitter, grocery store, so I'll definitely show you what I get up to 
This is gonna be my third time staying at Chica and Sunset's Hostel. It is one of my favorites just because it's smaller. Uh, the hostel only fits four people, so I don't get too overwhelmed like I do in some other hostels that can fit 20 plus. Um, so I'm excited for just like a quiet, relaxing night. Um, I'll go around town, but then I'll also hang out at the hostel a lot. I have been good at keeping up with editing and scheduling the YouTube videos. So when I get there, I just have to work on yesterday's YouTube video and today's. So that should go by pretty quick. I think I want to start watching Survivor. Like, obviously I'm a fan. <laughs> um, I wear the Survivor buff. No, I was not on Survivor. I get these Survivor buffs as Christmas presents from my parents. But when I'm home and Survivor is on, I get together with my friends every week and we all watch it together. So I want to keep up to date on the episodes, even though I'm not getting together with my friends to watch it. I still want to, I still want to know what's going on. So I'll have to watch the premiere, which is probably like two hours long, but I think I might have enough time to do that tonight. We'll see. All right, this is Chica in Sunset's Hostel. I'm back for the third time. I noticed this right away. <laughs> so this is actually a board game that I designed and came out with a couple years ago. New Hampshire Hygopoly. So real quick, this is the hostel. Little sitting area. Kitchen. Little mini store right there. Hiker box. Do, 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 do. I gotta sign that. Do, do, do. Bathroom and laundry. And that's where I'm staying. So I'm just gonna take a shower, put in a load of laundry. There's some loaner clothes in there. And then maybe head out to town. And you saw this. I got dunks on the way here, went through the drive-thru. The best part is the order number on this is 2023. So like how fitting is that? Also, thank you to my parents. They left a little card on the bed and paid for this hostel for me. So thanks mom and dad. And I'm still waiting for when they can visit me on trail, hopefully soon because I loved their visits last time. And Looking forward to that. All right, just went to pick out a loner outfit. I <laughs> need to wear that, obviously. This is all I have left in my food bag, so I'm gonna go to Ingalls and get enough food for two days on trail.